Good morning all my friends, um, today I'm going to show you how a mouse look inside. This mouse uh, has stopped working, it is um, a normal USB mouse. Just before I start I was just going to show you, this is two types, this is one with a USB connection to your uh, computer. This one is a infra, also infrared mouse but this uh, is a, a wireless mouse. If you Inside here you'll see there's a little, uh, the wireless device. Uh, I think it, it works <coughs> 2.4 gigahertz. It's a transmitter and a receiver in here. And then from here it's USB communication to your computer. They just plug it in here. And obviously there's a battery inside here. Because there's no wire for communication. And uh, on and off switch here. I guess for the battery not to get flat. Okay. Um, this is that. And just for interest sake this is an old mouse the, look at this mouse it's just uh, still one with a ball one don't you think you guys remember this, this is the first mouse that you um, used to get but this one has a serial communication that's not a usb uh, you used to open the if the thing is getting a bit all draggy and then you have to clean the ball inside this fluff and the stuff is used to sit here and there's a little wheels that it activates for the computer to know which direction you go and you just plug it in but this one is still nice but uh it's hp as i say but this one is a uh, once you're used to this you can't use this anymore okay uh so i say this one is used to get a little bit erratic if you want to use it it jumps all over the place uh, normally you can go in here and clean maybe there's some fluff of dirt here by the LED but this one I clean but uh, I can't find anything there and another thing what happened for all the movement uh, especially when you play games or something the wires go uh, broke breaking off inside here um, then it doesn't make contact or short out and that's why you get all these things you can maybe fix it I fix it once you once you open it you just cut it and move it extend it and join it again this is maybe the problem for this thing okay let's just open it um, this is a very basic one there's a roll the wheel but there's you see if you click press on the wheel there's another click function the left button the right button you get nice ones for uh, games there is with little uh, switches in the side of all the little programs of you 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 save it as a function for your game whatever but in the ones with the little weights inside so you get nice mouses this is just a basic one okay as i said uh, the, the gamers mouses got braided wire so just to make it a little more stronger otherwise you uh, you damage that wire very quickly they normally just clip the clip in the front if you want to clean it you it clips in here and then it goes back now if you look inside here what is happening here here is uh, the infrared and it's a red led i think it's the color that works the best for the pickup um and then there's a prism and then it makes a red color on your on the, the medium and the bottom and then there's a little lens and this in the bottom of this pickup um they, they say it's a CMOS chip it looks like a type of a camera or a motion sensor that it uh, detects the movement it, it, it takes about a thousand to maybe to five thousand depends on the design the images every per second and then it compare the previous one with the latest one and then it knows what direction you go and um, we will somehow go and cut it open and I'll show you how it looks obviously here's the USB connection you can plug it out just gonna get this little system here see here's the little connection now, as I said you can maybe open here to see the wires is broken off here you just cut it and join it again okay the next um, explanation here is this wheel here you will see as I said there's a little there's also uh, in, 
is dus encoder in hier, but they call it an optical encoder. There is little slots here in this wheel as you move it. I'm going to get the light here, you can see better. Little slots here that the LED, the, the infrared goes right through on the other side. And then here's the, the, the pick of the LED, infrared LED is not a red light like this one. And then there's a pickup. You'll see there is a little device that side. It's a three legged device. So it picks up a center in the corner of center on the other side. It knows which direction your wheel is going. And then it uh, takes that information and uh, obviously the computer then knows which direction you go. And then this is the, the right click micro switch and the left click micro switch. This one obviously works the hardest. There's a one that is on the wheel. If you press the wheel inside, it clicks this one for another function. Um, very, very interesting. You can see all the dirt accumulates in the bottom here. Now at the bottom of the PCB, we can quickly open it. Here's a little lens that comes with this LED. And uh, there's a little, looks like the little camera, the pickup that I showed you. So uh, we can just, so this is a little manufactured lens and a prism and then the little angled lens and it picks up the image. Let's just take this out. Then there's your, infra, your red LED. And uh, if you go and we if you pick up here, I don't know if you can open this thing. You see, you open this lens. You can see inside here, there's a CMOS. There's that a camera a pickup motion sensor pickup inside here. That uh, get a more the screwdriver here. You see there is a pick up inside there. So that one obviously pick up uh, the images and then it I think maybe the, the whole brain is inside it's all chip in one and then there's certain communication through the USB then to your uh, all the other inputs also on that chip. Um, this is now very interesting how the thing looks inside. I just want to open one. I've got an old the old one here, old uh, mouse PCB. See, here's the micro switch. There's also that pickup there. Um, you see, this is the micro switch. So, same as a, as a big micro switch. You you just press that inside and then it click, 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 click. And then there's another switch here. This is a different, like your remote control maybe has in. There's that little plate in here that bent. And here's another type of switch. Uh, I think it depends on how much you use this thing. Well, what function is it for? Then they decide what type of switch they need to put in there. Um, so obviously, I think it's like if your the switch doesn't work anymore, then you can maybe desolder it and then swap it with that one, put that one there, and then it's still good to go again. So, uh, this is how a mouse look inside. So, uh, if you uh, ever wonder how a mouse works inside, and then you can, this is a ideal way to see it. You can see there's another, see this little spring here. Let's just take this fluff off here. This in the inside of this wheel, this little little dent that is little how the profile is there and then that spring goes in there and that makes it click 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 so it makes it if you have that feeling on the on the mouse this is that spring that that keeps the wheel steady until you move it it's under tension and it then moves in the inside there this is just a holder for it and uh, I think we can just put it back. We can show you how it works. But anyway, um, okay. Um, I thought I'm just going to show you how you your mouse is, is working. 
and then as I said if you just the thing starts not working you can maybe open it here you just on the corner here you can maybe just quickly cut it open and show you the wires there uh, this is as normally what goes first that gives up is the damage is the, is the wires on the corner there but the mouse is not very expensive so if you buy a cheap mouse you can just replace it I need to spend too much time in it so on the corner here there just uh, the cable this uh, fully the heavier is it's just for noise it's a, it's a screen of the cable normally <clears throat> and there's the ground the ground wire is the brass wire the copper wire and the supply is the red and the black and the usb comes is the green and the white this is more if you then sometimes pull this wire it breaks off or it just comes out then you know this is what's happening here with the um the wire is broken and i just thought of it uh, maybe this hole of this thing is so small maybe the dust can also maybe go in here small amounts of dust inside that pickup and then obviously it will give you maybe a problem and this is just a mold and uh, if you press here that little device mark press on your on your micro switch we can quickly take one of those micro switches out if you take the lid off here see there's a lid and there's your little micro switch inside here you just press it inside click click there's a contact tick, tick. and uh, that's how it works i just would like to open this thing a bit and see how this sensor looks inside but uh, i don't think you can see more see there's a little plastic device and there's the cmos sensor pickup inside there that uh, gets the image and take it to I don't see any other electronics here there's no other chip here and all the switches so I guess maybe I don't know how the comms work but maybe inside here the chip is the comms hole the communication to the USB is inside here okay this is just for interest sake um hope you enjoyed this video now you know how a mouse works and looks inside till next time cheers <clears throat>